2011 paper 1 question 14 express 10,500 in terms of its prime factors. B determine the smallest positive number P such that 10,500 multiplied by P is a perfect cube. So for us to do start with A uh, we can use this method uh, so we write 10,500 uh, we divide by 2, you will be able to get 5, uh, 250, 5,250. Uh, we divide again by 2, you will be able to get um, 2,625. can use your calculator. Uh, we divide by 3, uh, we will be able to get uh, 875. Uh, we divide by 5 again uh, we, we get uh, 175 uh, we divide by 5 we get uh, uh, 35 and when we divide again by 5 we get 7 so the prime factors of this uh, number is uh, uh, 2 squared multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 cubed multiply by 7 so these are the these are the prime factors of uh, that number 10500 10, from there we go to part b of the question we are told to determine the smallest positive uh, number uh, such that uh, 10500 times p is a perfect square so we already have our number our factors here we have two squared uh, multiply by uh, 3 multiply by 5 cubed multiply by uh, 7 so to make it a perfect square then it means that uh, we need to have another 2 to make it 2 cubed uh, 3 we have only 3 to power 1 so we need another 3 squared so that when you multiply by 3 it becomes 3 cubed 5 we already have 5 cubed so we don't need to multiply with that because it's already cubed uh, multiply by 7 we have only 1 7 to power 1 so we multiply by 7 squared to make it 7 cubed so that will make that number a perfect cube and uh, using your calculator when you multiply that you should be able to get 882 that is the smallest number which you can multiply with this number to make it a perfect cube and that is how you work it out.